Here, too, requested an excerpt from The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Interesting. <clears throat> Let's, uh, this is from the very beginning. Prologue. Um, thank you, dudes, Angel. Angel. If a shot was taken each time someone team killed, who would get drunk the fastest? Uh, hey, back monster. <laughs> Can be. Hey, Sam. Well, the thing's still making over there. I don't need to be full screen. That just means you have to look at me more. What's good of that? Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Katie. Uh, Pain blazed and loose there, and he screamed. A scream that came from his depths. A scream he could not stop. Fire seared his marrow. Acid rushed along his veins. He toppled backwards, crashing to the marble floor. His head struck the stone and rebounded. His heart pounded, trying to beat its way out of his chest, and every pulse gushed new flame through him. Helplessly he convulsed, thrashing his skull a sphere of purest agony on the point of bursting. His hoarse screams reverberated through the palace. Slowly, ever so slowly, the pain receded. The outflowing seemed to take a thousand years and left him twitching weakly, sucking breath through a raw throat. Another thousand years seemed to pass before he could manage to heave himself over, muscles like jellyfish, and shakily push himself onto his hands and knees. His eyes fell on the golden-haired woman, and the scream was ripped out of him, dwarfed every sound he had made before. Tottering, almost falling, he scrabbled brokenly across the floor to her. He took every bit of strength to pull her up into his arms. His hand shook as he smoothed her hair back from her staring face. I don't know how to say her name, but... Um, Ilnea, maybe? Linnea? I think it's Linnea. I've never actually thought about how this is pronounced. Linnea, light help me, Linnea! His body cursed... His body curved around hers protectively, his sobs the full-throated cries of a man who had nothing less to live for. Linnea, no! No! You can have her back, Kinslayer. The great Dark Lord can make her live again if you will serve him. If you will serve me. All oh, right. Well, this doesn't really work for accents. Loose there and raised his head, and the black-clad man took an involuntary step back from that gaze. Ten years, betrayer, Loose there and said softly, the soft sound of steel being bared. Ten years, your foul master has wrecked the world, and now this, I will. Ten years, you pitiful fool, this war has not lasted ten years, but since the beginning of time, you and I have fought that fought a thousand battles with the turning of the wheel, a thousand times a thousand, and we will fight until time dies, and the shadow is triumphant. He finished in a shout with raised fists, and it was loose there in turn to pull back, breath catching at the glow in the betrayer's eyes. Oh, thank you, Jingle MD. Oh. Carefully, loose there and lay down Linnea, fingers gently brushing her hair. Tears blurred his vision as he stood, but his voice was iced iron. For what else you have done, there can be no forgiveness, betrayer, betrayer, betr betrayer. But for Linnea's death, I will destroy you beyond anything your master can repair. Prepare to. <laughs> I did my best. So I'm sorry. Remember, you fool. Remember your futile attack on the great lord of the dark. Remember his counterstroke. Remember! Even even now the hundred companions are tearing the world apart, and every day a hundred men more join them. What hand slew Linnea Sunhair, Kinslayer? Not mine. Not mine. What hand struck down every life that bore a drop of your blood? Everyone who you loved. Everyone you loved. Sorry, it's everyone who loved you. Everyone you loved. Not mine, Kinslayer. Not mine. Remember, and know the price of opposing Shaitan. Sudden sweat made tracks down loose there in face, through the dust and dirt. He remembered, a cloudy memory like a dream of a dream. But he knew it true. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jingles MD. 
They eat Jordan says things. They eat serious. Slay. Sir Slay. Serious Sir Slay, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. Um. What am I doing? That was, uh, that was a, uh, bedtime story, which is what I normally do for at the end of the stream. Um, and then hopefully the solar panel will be done any second now. It's almost done. It's gotta be almost done. I was just making a bunch of mirrors. Thank you, Lottie. I, I'm sorry. He made me. <laughs> Why? Because it had to be done. Thank you, Katie. Sometimes things just have to be done. Oh, mine didn't come upstairs today. <laughs> Thank you, Jingles. was the night before Christmas, and for some strange reason, Santa was Scottish. He fell down the chimney. He'd been deep in the Guinness. Oh, did it finish the other thing? Right, fine, I'll do it. Yup, great. Yup. That's what I'm looking for. Nope. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, got lucky. I took all the speed upgrades out of this thing to put them in the other thing. Uh. That stack upgrade was a real mistake. get done. Okay. Thank you, HC Blue. Uh, that's what Gavin did. He did it all by hand. I choose not to live that way. <laughs> Thank you, Lottie. <laughs> Alright, look. I'm not very well informed. He, he had a belly full of haggis. How about that? Thank you, dude's angel. Everyone was silent when Grandpa appeared to kidnap the bad children. He got them all. And that was the end. I wonder if I just interrupted the solar panel creation. Nope, it seems to be flipping through there pretty quick. Um, ah, okay. That one's got two speed upgrades. Hopefully this will speed up. This is where right now it's working on. Bip, 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 bip. Ah, there we go. Much better. Yes, this is a, a totally manual process that Gavin has done. Where, if you think about it, it's taken how long of me, of this thing just being automatic? Just sitting here and running. Let 
Like I don't I don't think Gavin is faster than this thing. I feel like when these mirrors run out though, though that means we'll be getting close. Or it'll just make more of them. Well, Jack did upgrade some of it to a uh, automatic uh, to an auto crafting system. So I think he like level two, level one, level two, and maybe level three solar panels are all now automated. Thank you, Commander Cat ears. Uh huh. Sure. I just want to see it go like all of these complete abruptly. There it goes, there it goes. Doop, 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 doop. And now we got him. Thank you, Zeref. Good night. Can I put these on top of here and will they actually contribute power? Well, they're just sucking power out of there. Honestly, the main reason I wanted these is not because of their generation capacity, but because they'll hold 500, a billion RF. Yeah, maybe. It could be. Not always. Thank you, uh, Red Rum Mecky. And congratulations on winning a, uh, a game. Make sure you like, get the mods your info, and I'll get that to you hopefully tonight. If I can, if you accept my friend request when I send it. Come on, son. Come up. So I'll start actually generating RF instead of just sucking it from everything else I have. Oh, my gargantuan storage is... I don't know if this one's getting tapped or not. I feel like it's not actually being drawn. Though it does list it here. I don't know what claims it's generating. Alright. We built solar. Killed the Chaos Dragon. Pickles is still fine. Good pickles. I think that's a good place to stop. We did the uh, bedtime story. I'll be back next week. Thank you all so much for, for hanging out with me this uh, this whole week. Uh, it's been a hell of a journey from basically just auto hammers all the way through fusion crafting and chaos dragon killing on the first try. Uh... I'll be back next week with something else, probably, but I'm not sure yet. Who knows? I haven't decided. But I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Good night, everybody.